Hi, my name is Gilad Epstein from Lorex. Today we'll take you behind the scenes to our lab and see where we actually do our product development, evaluation and approval. Specifically, we'll talk about the Lorex Edge Plus Touch. Follow me. The Lorex Edge Plus packs a lot of functionality in a very small form factor. The size of the Edge Plus is just like an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper and it's only an inch and a half thick. The edge is the cutting edge in video surveillance and is designed to be mounted in different ways. It could be uh, horizontally mounted, it could stand on its edge, it supports wall mounting or VESA mounting to the back of an LCD monitor. So you can actually conceal the DVR behind the monitor, under counter, or even in the drop ceiling in case uh, this is a business setting and you want to conceal your DVR and you have all the wiring there. The Edge Plus supports a Flex IR port, so you don't have to have line of sight in order to control the DVR. Packed into this case is a one internal hard drive and it can be expandable up to two terabytes. Other unique features to the Edge Plus DVR is the fact that it has a DVI output for high resolution video output and it comes with a DVI to VGA converter so you can connect to any PC monitor or TV with a VGA or DVI input. It has a network port supporting network connectivity so that you connect this to your router and then you can connect to the DVR from anywhere in the world on any device whether it's your PC, your Mac computer or any smartphone. So by having your edge you are simply connected on any device uh, today. Forget about your remote control, forget about your mouse. Your touch screen now works just as easily and much faster and much more intuitively. I'm going to go and demonstrate specific features that are enabled with the touch screen that are not possible in other DVRs. So we looked at the split screen. Let's look at the menu settings. So I'm going now one by one and I'm going to adjust. Let's adjust the color on camera number two. Oh, I see that this is a bit dark. What I have to do is I just go to the slide bar and I just slide and adjust the color to match the specific environment. Similarly, you do that to the contrast, the saturation, cool menu option. Let's go to the alarm menu. In the alarm menu, I can set up motion detection on a camera. So, for example, if I wanted to set up motion on camera number two, okay, and I'll go to the motion scene, right now it is all shaded. Shaded means that it's detecting motions on all areas of the camera. But let's say I wanted to cancel out the traffic going through this road and I wanted to capture motion only when cars enter the driveway. So right now that red car that just passed will not be detected because I've cancelled that out. So right now by clearing these motion areas I've eliminated motion detection on those specific scenes. USB. I can actually back up to an external device. If I wanted to say, let's back up today's date, but I want to start not from 11.18, but I wanted to start from 11.10, simply scroll and you get uh, to the desired time that you want. Recording, mo recording options. I can set up my working hours and my non-working hours. I can tap to turn a non-working hour into a working hour. I can create different sizes of squares. And so far you've seen I've been able to operate the system with a touch of a finger. Another cool feature is the search by list. The list gives you the events that happened per camera and it actually has an icon for each type of event. For example, right now I can see a motion event on camera one. All I have to do is tap it, okay, and it switches to it. 
and I can see that, oh, that's the motion event. That's the car going by. That triggered motion, that got captured in the event log. So, as you can see, I have up to 16 cameras. This DVR supports 8 or 16 channels. But I can filter it and say, okay, show me only the events that happen on camera number two. Give you a practical use for that. If this is installed in a home, and it's at the entrance of the home, and you wanted to see who was who arrived during the course of the day, all you have to do is select the specific camera and say, I want to see motion events. It will filter the relevant motion events and show you with a timestamp exactly what happened. You can go from one, and you'll see it dynamically change the picture. So you don't even have to press play. You see a different truck here versus the truck arriving over there, moving ahead, a different car, van. So instantly you can see what happened. Ideal for businesses, I am very practical for homes. This system also supports remote viewing over smartphones. So I'll give you an example. I've got my BlackBerry over here. I have an app. I click on the app. And I'll click Connect. Right now, once again, using touchscreen operation, I'm connecting wirelessly over the 3G network, and I can see my home. I can see the driveway, and I can see that the garbage and recycling hasn't been collected yet. So, remember, keep in touch, stay connected.